about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. And I'm going to be reacting to the Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania official trailer. This is the third Ant Man movie. Now, I know a lot of people really don't like the Ant-Man movies. Well, the first one, I think I liked the first one a lot. I thought it was a good movie. You know, I like the character of Ant-Man. I just feel like because this is the second Ant-Man. The first Ant-Man, the original Ant-Man is supposed to be Michael Douglas, but they never really mention him. They just, they just show flashbacks of him with Tony Stark's father. And, you know, Ant-Man is very important to the to the um avengers bro very important in the comics but not so much in the movies but um the first movie was good i liked it the second one was okay it wasn't horrible but it was it was forgettable so this one i hope this one is going to be a good one and apparently king the conqueror he's basically the thanos of this phase he's going to be the main villain of this and I, i'm just curious to see how it's going to tie into the overall arc of phase four you know phase four been kind of weak lately the last the, the the only good movie i like from phase four the doctor strange was i the spider-man the spider-man but you know that's really a sony movie but it's connected to marvel and it didn't really like i don't see how that spider-man movie played out for the overall arc I feel like this is going to be a movie that's going to have consequences in the overall arc and shit. I know I'm talking a lot, man. My apologies. Without further ado, let's check it out and I'll give y'all my thoughts. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at X-Con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> People still need help, Dad. That's, That's why funny. we made this. Damn, his daughter grew like up. A satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now. Oh. Okay, now nah, this look fire already, y'all. And I like Paul Rudd too. Where are we? Am I gonna come down? Am I going to land? I should have stayed on the phone. I should have listened to my own mind. It's a secret universe beneath ours. So afraid of. There's something I never told you. This place. It what the hell is that? I look like King. I can get you home. more time if you help me so what's it gonna be Ant-Man okay February 17th, the 20, 2023. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but from what I'm seeing in it, the visuals look fire. The story looks like it's gonna be fire. You know, I remember in the last movie, Michelle Pfeiffer's character, I think she's the original uh, Wasp. She was lost and then Michael Douglas found her. Or I don't remember the last movie. Like I said, it's forgettable, but I know that's where they introduced her. So the fact that she has a secret and she was in that realm, in the quantum realm for so long. So 
who knows what she saw and what she knows and that secret that she has. So that's an interesting plot point. The fact that he's going to have more time with his daughter in this and she's older and they, it looks like it's going to be an adventure with his daughter, which is, you know, that's nice. I know any anybody that has a daughter, dads could take their daughter to see this movie and it will be a nice thing to connect with their daughter with. So I think dad looks dope. Um, it's funny that um, Kang the Conqueror, he just looks like everybody's, um, you know, I've been seeing people's idea of how he would look in an MCU fan-made posters, fan-made art, and he looks just like the fan-made art, but it looks like the comic book accurate version of Kang. Now, anybody that watched the Loki series, they know that there's different versions of Kang. There's not just one version. So... I believe the version that we got in Loki was the the Watcher, or I forgot what his name was. I wonder is this is this is gonna be the main Kang that's the villain throughout the whole Phase Four, because he's gonna make more appearances doing things. So I wonder what will be the next movie that he comes out after this. But the visuals look good. I like Paul Rudd. I like the Paul Rudd. I like the cast that they got. Come on, you got Michelle Pfeiffer. They even have that dude from um, Ghostbusters, bro. I forgot his name, bro. And I know it's so bad because he's a great actor, very popular. And he looks good for his age, too. I forgot his name. The dude from Ghostbusters. But, um, yeah, this actually looked pretty good, guys. I'm very interested in this. We got Black Panther next month. I know I didn't do the trailer reaction to that. I apologize. Like, there's been so many trailers I've been slacking on. Just so y'all know, like, I'm a fan first, bro. Sometimes I can't even wait. Like, I just want to watch it. Like, you know, I get too excited and then I watch it instead of doing the reaction, which is dumb. All right. But yeah, I'm excited for this. It's actually looking like it might be the best one out of all the Ant-Man movies. And I, I'm hoping that's the case. You know, I'm hoping, you know, what movie was like that? Where it was the third movie was actually the best one out of all. I think like Thor Ragnarok to me was the best Thor movie. But I like the original one, too. So I don't know. Like the first Thor was still good. But then, I don't know, I like Thor Ragnarok probably a little bit better than the first one. Anyway, y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this. If y'all enjoyed the reaction, please hit the like button and subscribe. It's your boy Dollars, I'm a holla. I'm out of here. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming on my life. Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off on these niggas, I retire. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.